Have you ever tried to invite an external user to your Slack channel? And you know that it's very hard to do that using automation tools. So every time you have to onboard a new client, for example, you have to invite that new client manually. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically add any external user to any Slack channel that you use. Let's get started. So if you go to your Zapier account and you try to add a step here an action to invite external users you you don't have that event here so if you search for invite the only action that we have here is invite user to channel but you can see here that you can invite only an existing user of your workspace right so you cannot invite an external user so let's say that you are onboarding a new client to your company and you need to invite the client to join a channel right and you cannot do this using this particular action and the same thing on make.com so if you go to make.com the only option that you have for all the actions here for invite is to invite users and of course you can only invite existing users to the channel right so how you can do that so the first thing that you're gonna have to do is to create a new app on your slack account right you, you can go to api.slack.com slash apps you're gonna need to sign in with your slack account of course and then you can go to create new app here you can create a new app from scratch you can name so test automation you can select a workspace you can create the, the app here then you have to go to the permissions here and go to scopes on, on the scopes settings you can click on add scopes here and you're gonna need to use of course as i mentioned in the beginning is lack connect okay and of course this is a pro feature so if you are using the free slack plan you won't have this option okay you need to be a paid slack user in order to be able to use slack connect okay and you can search for the slack connect so you have these scopes here conversation conversations dot connect manage and you can add all of them here sorry connect write read and then connect write okay and then after you you add the correct scopes here you can install it to your workspace and you can click it here it's gonna prompt this to install to your workspace you're going to click on allow and that's it okay so this is the first part that you're going to have to do to create this app on on slack okay and then you can go to your automation too let's use make for this example here let's say that you are creating a new channel and you need to invite that external user to that new channel that you have just created so let's say that you have an automation that triggers to create a new channel and then you need to invite the external user before inviting the external user you need to invite that new app that you just created okay so you you add this module here this this action invite users from slack and then you search for the app that you just created in this case test automation okay so you're going to invite that app to the new channel that you are creating why is that because then that app is going to invite your external user and to invite the external user what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do a an http request here okay which is basically you're going to need to do an api call for this specific endpoint that we need to invite the external user okay the url is https is like.com api and you can see that the the endpoint is similar to the scope that you added right so this is the endpoint that you need then on the header you're going to add an authorization so you can authenticate this this api call and here you're going to add it better better and then you're going to copy this token here and you're going to add it here like this okay and then on the of course on the on the body type it's going to be raw it's going to be json and here what you should add here basically two things right that is really important for you to add the first one is the channel that you want this to force that you want to invite your user to 
And then the, the other one, is, of course, is the email. So what's the email of the user that you are writing? So in this case, I'm using the channel ID from the from the channel that I'm just creating. Okay. And then you're going to add the emails and then let's say my email here. And then you closed it and that's pretty much it. Okay. This is all you need. You need channel ID and your external user email. That's it. That's all you need. And you can see that after you run this, your external user is going to get an invite from Slack to join this channel. Of course, that you can run this automation for existing channels. So I'm just simulating here a process of creating a new channel and inviting that new client to join the channel. But you can do the same thing for existing channels. And of course, for existing channels, you just need to add the channel ID here so that external user can be able to join that existing channel. Hope this automation is helpful to you. And if you want other automation ideas, check this video where I show you how you can combine AI with automation to build powerful systems. Thank you.